Football One for audience. We run, we win. This is your friend James. Brace yourself, Christians and non-Christians. Socialism, a modern god of humanism, atheism. This is, this is deep. Socialism keeps people coming to you, the government. That's the purpose, and not God. That's why it's called a modern, is, is, is a modern god of humanism and atheism, because it keeps the people, that's the purpose, coming to the government and not God. For healthcare, education, money, morality, worldview, they just want to be God in your life. This is really, really serious. They want to be God. This is, I mean, analyze most of the major communist countries are not really religious friendly. Don't pretend that just because there was a state church or there's a fake church, there's one country that has a fake church. There's one that has that ran the state, the, the state owned the church, but they also got rid of all the other churches in the country, that country during that regime. So socialism basically just keeps people coming too. But, but I mean, come on, don't you? They, they like to be God. They want you to come to them so that they can give you yes or no. They like you coming to them. That's it. Israel wanted a king. God was king over them. They wanted a physical person to judge them. Instead of God having, you know, the prophets and the priests judge them, they wanted a physical person. So they wanted someone they could go to. So don't think it's a joke when I say God. Don't think it's a joke about religion. Because both the communist China and North Korea, they do use the word and the term worship in reference to certain practices of the people and their present or past leaders, concerning their present or past leaders. They use the word worship. People, Some people call it cult culture. There's one country right now where they call the person father. They did that with Hitler. Jesus said, don't call anybody father. He already established that. So Lord have mercy on all of us. But he actually, you know, there is a country right now where they're calling this person is the father of the country. They're associating with, there's a father God in heaven. Where do you think the people come up with this stuff from? You know, so they is all this words, all this stuff. This is just bad. It's just flat out. They they replace hum, humanity is religious by nature because humanity is spirit being. They're spirits. Humanity is spirits that live in bodies and have minds that have, that absorb information. You know, you can uh, the mind can pull in information, but that's why. Why do you think it's so easy for a wicked person? To, they have that's why they come up with cult culture because if you don't completely remove because they, they said Hitler they said one of the things the kids remember one of the kids remembered most during Hitler's youth was them running around was them marching around but that night they would sing together hymns to their country they weren't singing that's a total you know that's a total perversion of <laughs> that's a, the camera just citizens ah get thee behind me saying in the name of you not getting that the the uh that's a perversion of church hitler had those kids they, the kids were singing but they weren't singing about god so what did he do he replaced jesus with hitler he replaced you know the singing and worship of, the, of god of heaven with songs about the country you know, it's interesting. Most of our hymns for our country, most of our famous songs talk about God. And that's why wicked people don't like, you know, Independence Day much. They hate, you know, Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving to God. You can do that with hamburgers. You can do that with salad. You can fast all Thanksgiving. But anyways, so that so there is is, is a substitution. You're going to go to the you're gonna, you need money. You're going to go to the government or go to God. See, this is where you're going to you need help. You're going to go to the government, go to God, You're going to go to the Internet. For wisdom, that's foolish in and of itself. But anyways, so this is it. So that's the background. Folks are made the the reason why is so interesting about this than wanting to be God is folks are made in the image of God. God made man and woman in the image of God, and God is a master and a commander. God told Adam to have dominion, told him, him and his wife to have dominion. His wife was a help suitable for him. That's what meat means, help suitable in the King James. It means someone who is suitable to control this planet. So folks are made in the image of God. God is a master and commander, which means people are designed to be able to control and do things. So that's why wicked people enjoy doing telling folks what to do. I mean, that's why humans like telling people what to do. That's why some people get so full of pride in the military and when they're CEOs because they're telling people what to do. 
And it's no small it's no small wonder that people, even parents, enjoy controlling other people's lives. You've seen the, I mean, come on, par, you know, parents, they love telling their kid what to do and dressing up their kid and telling them, the wicked parents love doing that. But, you know, it's just people like telling people what to do. That's why people love to get up and teach during church. They just want to teach, just want to teach, just want to teach. Well, I mean, you're wasting God's time if God didn't tell you to get up there. If you're not called to be a pastor, shut your mouth and sit down. If you're not called to be an apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist, I already said pastor, be quiet. You're wasting God's time. That's why he said not a novice, a novice who hasn't graduated from any type of school, no background. Just because you like them, they're young, they had a vision of Jesus, that's nonsense. Because people just like to get up and do it. That's why the Bible says don't be, but don't be many teams. <laughs> let's, let's start, we, we wanna, let's keep focus. But people just like telling folks what to do. They like playing, I want you to do it, but anyway, let's go. One, folks like to control stuff. I mean, look at the people who put their little toddlers in sports camps or music lessons. I mean, people just like, I mean, come on. If you're made in the image to control somebody, why do you think video games, children like video games a lot? They like video games because they can control the characters in the video games. Why do you think kids play when they're doing, you know, you know, cars and stuff? They're controlling where the cars go. I mean, a kid will really dive into video games if their parents are wicked and evil and not allowing God to help the child grow into the position of authority they're supposed to. That's probably why the video game industry has gone so wild because if people have no com control over their lives, they get someone where they can. But anyways, folks like to control stuff. That's pure and simple. That's why folks like to be conductors. Some people want to conduct because they want to conduct. Some people do it because they like to be in charge. Some people make movies because they want to make movies. Some do it because they, they like to be in charge. Some people want to be, you know, a, a mayor or a governor or a senator or a house representative or a president because they like being in charge. They like the praises of men. Okay, let's continue. Folks, so folks like to just control stuff. People are made in the image of God, controlling things and telling, you know, you got mis... Well, Two folks, like control, two folks like to tell people what to do. Now, controlling stuff is not the same as telling people what to do. They like ordering people around. Go stand, go sit, go, go, go kneel on rice. I mean, my John Charles Silver. John, I just found out about that this week. Apparently, this is the thing that people punish people. With. Go kneel on rice. They they like telling. Go stand. Don't say anything for the rest of the day. You can't do this. You can't play your thing. You you know you can only play your system for thirty minutes a day. You know whatever. People like. People just like to tell me what to do. Guys, that's why guys, that's why you have to be mature and leave folks alone. But see, you know, but that's one reason why people just made the image of God. Just want to tell people, people like telling people what to do. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. I want you to do this. Three, folks like to spend other people's money. You ever seen a wicked parent? The kid gets a job and all of a sudden now the parent doesn't want to pay for anything? Are you kidding me? Folks like to spend other people's money. Hey, you got some money, you pay for it. That's what socialism is. Rich person, hey, you got extra money. They have no idea what this is for. This person's saving up for, he's trying to do something, he's working, he's using this as collateral to probably uh, get a bigger business that it hire more people. But they just see this money and they want to spend that person's money. That's pure covetousness. Free healthcare, not out of pocket, not out of pocket cost. No, no, that's just you want somebody else's money. They like spending your money. They want your taxes because they want that school to have a theater, a gym, a pool, I mean, a stadium, a movie production studio. I mean, come on. They, they want all this stuff. They want to spend your money. People love to spend other people's money. Why? Because it's not. That's one of the most interesting things I learned from a producer of a, a very popular show. <laughs> that from years ago, the person said, spend somebody else's money. Why? So you can have your own money and do whatever you want to do with it, but you're spending their money. So that's just, that's it. However, without God, so this is, so this is how it's a modern God of humanism because it comes from the concept that people like replace doing what God does. God, you know, controls stuff. God, you know, tells people what to do. And God tells you how to spend your money appropriately and properly because he's God. He has the right to do it. He is God. If he's God, you have, you have to obey him, period. And that's probably one reason why most people don't, some people don't, not most people, most people who push atheism and humanism, they don't care for God in there because if God says they can't do something, they, they're not allowed to do it. And they, they don't want to submit pride and arrogancy because that's, you know, you're made in the image of God. Um, however, without God being in control, one, there's no respect. 
They see it with parents disrespecting their children. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that's just bad. There's no respect. There's no respect to the public. There's no respect for their jobs. There's no respect for what they need. There's no respect for their religion. There's no respect for, you know, the Constitution. Thou shalt not make, they, they, you shall not, Congress shall not make any law that infringes upon or hinders or stops. Come on, freedom of worship. There's no respect when they said shut down churches. You're out of line, governors, every single one of you. Every single one of you mayors, you're out of line. You know, county people, you're out of line. You see, but see, there's no respect. If God's not involved, there's no respect. If God's not involved, a parent will not respect their child, does not want to take karate. But they don't care because they're in pride and they took karate and they want their kid to take karate. They're not concerned about what their child wants to do. See, a lack of respect makes parents, I mean, come on, it's, it's everything, a lack of respect for departments and churches. There are people who are in certain departments, they're the heads, and you need to keep, keep your head and mouth out of it. If they're in charge of that department, you need to stay out of it. That's not your department. See, lack of without God, there's lack of respect. And you see how socialism has a good time with this and communism has a good time with it. They lack, they, you see in the countries, they lack, they, they don't respect the people, poor people. They don't care about the poverty. Here, two, there's no real pity without God. God, now, if you want me to feel sorry for you, you better feel sorry for your kid because God said like a father pitieth his children, God pities his people. But see, without God... There, this, this, this stuff has, there's no pity for the child. The child comes and apologizes and they're like, can you please at least change the punishment from one month to two weeks? And then there's no pity, no pity. Why? Because God's not involved. There's no pity. The people who lost their jobs during the artificial pandemic, there's no pity. Come on. There's no pity for people who want to do right. There's no pity for people who want to do what's his face. There's no pity. And when there's no pity... There's, I mean, come on, what is it? Like, what's his face? How, how much did they have to close their ears to the people going into the furnaces or getting shot during World War II, the Holocaust? There's no pity. Those wicked teachers, you know? Oh, oh, the, the, the kid says something, you call the kid stupid, we're going to call you call it bullying. That's not bullying. Calling somebody a name one time is not bullying. Bullying is a process. You know, but listen, there's no pity. There's no pity for the righteous. There's no pity for a Christian kid. There's no pity. See, they have no pity. And it's with the kindness that the people, the Christians afforded them, they're not affording back. See, this is why when God is not involved, there's no pity. Three, there's no real compassion or love. What is compassion? Compassion is to take, see someone in a situation, you want to do something to fix it. Now listen, socialism and communism still has a bunch of poor people. North Korea, China, Cuba, come on. A lot, I mean, come on. Every country on this planet still has poor people. So no system of government will alleviate poverty. Okay? Except for, you know, G, you know, except for moving into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Come on. <laughs> but even in the Old Testament, it says the poor in the land. Because God knew that people were going to, you know, the destruction of the poor, their poverty, this mentality, the way they talk, the way they act, the way they think, is just going to perpetuate poverty. But... There's no real comp compassion is to go in and get involved and fix it, even if you have to use your money to do that. But see, socialism without God, without God, and in socialism and communism, they're not really concerned about the poor people. What about those people? They say, what, we're working eight, 12 hour days making shoes or whatever. They're not concerned about it. We need this railroad done. They're not concerned about whether the people need rest or anything. And there's no compassion to actually get involved and fix the situation. Oh, they'll talk about, they'll talk about this, they'll talk about that, but you don't, but go back and look, what have they been doing in there, if they want to get elected, what have they been doing in their life? Have you seen them giving food to poor people on a regular basis? Then maybe they don't care about the poor as much as you think. Have you seen them putting money in black intercity groups? Then maybe they don't care about black people as much as they pretend. Have you seen them, you know, give out scholarships to Asian Americans or Hispanic Americans or just plain old white people? Come on. There's more of them. There's more. Come on. There's more white people who need to go to college just by sheer demographics and statistics. But have you seen them put into education for underprivileged people? Come on. They're not doing what they're talking about. So there's no real compassion to, 
You know, Jesus had compassion on the multitudes and healed them, not just felt sorry for them. And love, real actual love. Without God, there is no actual love because love, they'll do stuff to get be seen of men. That's not love. You have your reward. You just want to be seen, you know. So without God in the equation, that's how, I mean, that's what it is. So you like the control, people like control stuff. They like tell people what to do. They like to spend other people's money and stuff like that. But without God, there's no respect. There's no pity. There's no compassion or love. I mean, respect for someone else's paycheck. That's their paycheck. They went to work for that. You have to respect the fact that that person went to work for that. So you can't take all of that, give that to somebody else who didn't work. Why didn't they work? Were they unable to work? See, that's also compassion and pity and love. You got to figure out how to do it right. Are they unable to work? Are they unable? Are they handicapped? Come on, this is not a joke. See, wisdom, respect. You're respecting what's his face. So you're respecting the people. What's his face? You're respecting people. So there it is. So socialism keeps people. So that's, but imagine we just went through a whole explanation, but socialism just keeps people coming to you, comes to the government. And people like that. They like people eating out their hands. They like their little kids you know, begging them, please forgive me, daddy. Please forgive me, daddy. They like it. They, oh, they're, they're really eating it up. They don't act like it. You can't tell. Oh, oh, this is so wonderful. Oh, he's begging me. Oh, he's begging me. Oh, this makes me feel so good. Socialism keeps people coming to you, coming to the government and not to God. For health care, education, money, morality, worldview, they just want to be God in your life. Man's made in the image of God. And without God, man is going to start usurping authority and move themselves into the position of God. Live with me.